They don't care about you. Very much. This is like the it gets all serious for a sec. I put just me on the screen. Is that okay? Yep. All right. Super serious. I don't care about you. Just look at the fire if you don't want to listen. They have a nuke now. You know they have a nuke now? Are you typing? Yeah. You mean you're not sitting there listening to me? Like with your eyes blinking and your hand on your chin? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna Should I get closer. Uh, <laughs> I gotta use all my glasses on. We get too close. Can you see me now? <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> Enough of that laughing. World War Three is on the horizon. So we have China, Russia, and Iran working together, each as a different cog in a clunky communist machine. The aim is to take down America. They know they can drag us into war in the Middle East, in Taiwan, and in Ukraine. Just take a step back and look at how America is being pulled into conflicts all over the world. Not only that, but we will face war on our own streets, carried out by those millions who have crossed the border, the southern border, and disappeared into our cities and towns, waiting for their orders, waiting for the moment. When that moment comes, we will see violence on American streets like we have never seen before. Our enemies will carry out attacks all over America, and we will be covered in the blood of our loved ones and fellow citizens. Chaos will ensue, and the government will use that chaos to pass laws and write executive orders, further limiting our liberties and freedoms. This is it. The deep state cannot let Trump win. They will pay any, any cost to prevent that. Just as the World Economic Forum and globalists realize they cannot allow their plans to be exposed and defeated, they are backed into a corner. So they throw the war card. Again, chaos helps them. They use chaos to tighten their grip on nations and populations. Do not concern yourself with the border. There is a, quote, war in Ukraine we need to focus on for American interests. Don't worry about the economy. We have to support a country we already give $4 billion a year to. They need more? Where is common sense in this world? America is a powerful country, but we are not the world. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm on fire. <laughs> America is a powerful country, but we are not the world police. We are about to be engaged in military conflicts all over the world. Is that what we want? Is that where we want our money to go? China and Russia are challenging us, and Iran is working in the shadows, fighting proxy wars and funding the death of Americans. Europe and America are overrun with military-aged fighting men who hate Western culture and are simply waiting for their orders. You are seeing the results from this which, with violence erupting in Europe recently, although, weirdly, the media is ignoring most of it. Essentially, armies have been moved in under the cover of humanity. If you think about it, I, I was thinking about it the other day, is that they've, they've moved all these you know, illegal aliens into America, Europe. It was covered in migrants and this and that, right, from whatever. So it's like they're... If you think about it, they've put armies all across the all across the world. You know, I mean, it, it's just crazy. Congress doesn't do anything except endless investigations. Enough events, investigations, enough pandering, enough condescending behavior directed at the people they are supposed to represent. No more lies. No more bull. It's time. It's long past time. The people in our government do not care about you. They do not care about you. Hey, they don't care about you. You. They don't care about your job. They don't care about your family. They don't care about your kids, your parents, or your friends. They don't care about your quality of life. They don't care about your disease, your mental health, or your problems. They don't care about your money. They don't care if you're hungry. They don't care if you're a veteran, a minority, or disabled. The government doesn't care about you. The people in government don't care about you. Why are Americans not in the streets? Why are we not demanding these tyrants' necks in a noose? 
Why are we accepting the destruction of our precious America? Why are we so silent? Is it over? Is this it? Will the people remain inactive? Will America pass away? She's already on life support. I feel like I'm still doing CPR while the nurse is telling me to let it go. It's over. Is it over? Do the lazy, uninformed, unengaged, glow-faced zombies outnumber the patriots? Have the American people slipped away into indifference? The few cannot do this alone. Where are you, Americans? Don't you realize what is happening? There should be millions in D.C. There should be millions. But there aren't. I stood there for a month and waited for them, pleaded for them to come. They didn't. Does that mean they won't? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I can only say what I will do. I will stand. The end. Got my cue. My book. Like we always do about this time. 